Was that performance all the more pleasing, considering you haven't played at all in the last month? Oh, definitely, definitely. I think we've. I think if you look at it, we've had one game in in 12 weeks, something like that. We had the Boxing Day game and then the game at the end of November. So to win two on the bounce is, is great, and everyone's chuffed to bits in there. I mean, we've had we've got players there, the likes of Wiggy, um, uh, Liam. Um, Ronnie, players like that that haven't played for a long time, so they've come into the team and done really well today. Yeah, it's a great win. Uh, pretty even in the first half, but uh, you probably shared it in the second half as well. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It wasn't it wasn't a great game by both teams, to be to be fair, Paul. And no team really dominated. We gave them an extra man in midfield, and and we just seemed to soak up all their pressure. They never really caused us any problems. Lakey didn't have a save to make, and we were going up the other end and attacking quite quickly and creating your chance here and there so yeah it wasn't it wasn't a, a great performance by both teams but a good result for us in the end yeah, pretty tight uh, game only really opened up in the last 15 10 minutes yeah yeah it did they threw four lads up front and uh, left three at the back and just started bombing balls forward and we dealt with that really well you know uh, players like Jackson uh, he's, he's not played for a long long time he got injured against Squires Gate and he's come in and he's He's got cramp and he's aching and he's bruised, but he's done really well today and it, he epitomised our performance for me. He battled, he scrapped, he fought for everything and uh, played really well. It's always nice to have someone with the quality of John Lawless to pinch your goals for you. Oh, yeah, you know, John's quality speaks for itself. I mean, he's done that all season for us, hasn't he? He's, he's popped up with goals left, right and centre and scored some great goals. And this one today was another collector's item for him. It was outside of the left foot, chipped the goalkeeper. 25 yards, great finish, and, and that, that's what John's capable of. You know, we all know that, and we're really lucky to have him in the team, and we're lucky to have him as part of the coaching staff as well. Two wins in the last two games, uh, both against strong opposition, must be well for the rest of the season. Yeah, it does. It does. We've we've spoken about going on a bit of a roll, and you know, two, three, four games. You know, who knows where it's going to put us? We get a bit of momentum going, and you and you look at it like we said at the start of the interview. We haven't had that many games. You know, and we've won two good, two good games. So let's see where it takes us. Then. Let's see what it takes us. We've got a lot of games in hand, and see where we go with it. Good win for you today. Thought it was a, a very good professional performance. To be honest with you, Paul. Considering again, them lads haven't played for a little while since the Bootle game. I thought they were immense. Uh, they kept the shape. They kept the discipline. Uh, I can hear the carriers on next door in their dressing room. And to be fair, you got to. Got to take your hat off to our lads at the end of the day. When people are annoyed by getting beat by us and thinking, hey, they've just cracked up in their dressing room. Uh, but it, to me, it's a credit to our lads that they feel uh, uh, not hard done by. Uh, I just thought we were absolutely tremendous today. I've had three lads who come in today, Steve Williams, Ryan Wignall and Jack Sinnott, and they haven't played football for about two months. Uh, I know we've been off, off, off the peg or two, but... Today was absolutely tremendous. Fair play to them. Restricted them to pretty much nothing. Uh, their best chance came right before the death for a long range shot from their centre half. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> at the end of the day, if my goalkeeper doesn't make any saves or crosses or things like that, then that tells me we've dominated the game. Their keeper's made two, two, two decent saves. Uh, I thought our goal was absolutely tremendous. Uh, great finish, great ball, everything about it was bob on. We've closed the ball down, we've got the ball, we've played a little bit and we've scored a great goal. Um, you know, and considering that uh, Stockport train every single day and they play on this pitch every single day, it's a massive, massive credit to this football club and our players that we can come here and perform the way we did. Get in! <laughs> That's John Lawless dropped. <laughs> How much is the advantage to stop playing on this pitch every day after day? Well, I'd, I'd like to think, to be honest, I'm not being disrespectful, but I mean, if I if I had this these facilities and we played on this every single week, then I'd make this a fortress. I'd make this a fortress the way we, 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 we you can play football on it because we are a football side and we played well. And like I said, we yet yeah, we were rusty, we were rusty, but I'm not taking nothing away from my lads today at all. We've stuck to our guns, we were disciplined, we defended when we've had to defend it, and we've certainly attacked when we've had to attack and we've scored a great goal. Two wins uh, unbeaten now. Which is nice, yeah. I mean, you know, we we, we were uh, we were desperate to get a game right after the Bootle game, to be honest. Uh, and it's obviously with the weather it's been, it's took its time coming, but hey, 
you know, we've turned up today and, we, and we've, we've won a game. And it's nice to keep a clean sheet. That's the positive thing about it, that we've kept a clean sheet. And it's the first this season, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, hopefully the weather won't interrupt your plans for next week then. Well, to be quite honest with you, I don't care about the weather because I know my lads can turn up and they can put a shift in. If they put a shift in, then we've got half a chance. You know, <clears throat> we can say we want to play week in, week out. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Because it showed me that we've got the mentality to turn up when we haven't played or trained, in, in a sense, uh, and perform. And we've performed really, really well today. I'm very pleased with them. Oh, it's a bit late, but Happy New Year. Happy Easter, mate, because that's the next time I'll probably see you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate.